What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. So today we had a few modifications come in for the truck. Small things, essential things, nothing too crazy, uh, but they all got here on the same day. So I figured instead of doing a video here and a video there, I would just install them all in one video. Now, some of these things I've installed before, and if that's the case, I will put up um, a clickable card right above whatever I'm installing at the time to go back and look at the detailed install video of each thing. So the four things we're going to put on today is we're going to put the grab handle on. We're going to put the inserts in the tundra on the bed back there, uh, the black lettering that goes, you know, on the uh, the bed stamp back there. That's number two. Number three, we're going to put in the center console safe, which I feel is by far in the top three best things you could have for any of your vehicles, but especially the tundra. And number four, of course, Husky X-Act Contour floor liners will be going in this truck front and back. They are the very best. I had those in my last truck and I had those in my truck before and there's just no reason to change because like I said, they are the best. So I'm going to take you through each install real quick. We're going to bang it out and then I'll tell you if I ran into any trouble or something to look out for or stuff like that. But I figured we would start with the grab handle and go from there. So stay tuned. All right, so we're looking at the new grab handle here. Before we install it, just a quick heads up. On some Tundras, you actually have to make a little cut right here because uh, there's wiring that has to go up the pillar. Um, it's not on all Tundras, but I believe it has to do with the JBL sound system. So we're gonna do a quick little cut here. It's no big deal, it's quick and easy. All right, folks, finished product here. Uh, not a terrible install. You just gotta be careful because there's a side curtain airbag there. So take your time, make sure you uh, disconnect your battery before you do it. But overall, pretty easy, no big deal. So let's move on to number two. All right, second install is going to be the center console safe. If you don't know what this is, there will be a picture up after this with a part number on it. I highly recommend you check it out. It's very good to keep your stuff safe in that center console. You know, it has the combo lock on it, as you'll see in a minute, and there's also a key lock. Um, you know, me, I'm a jogger, so when I go run, I like to lock everything up. Don't have to carry anything with me. Highly, highly, highly recommend, and also a very quick install, as you will see.
All right, so we installed the driver side grab handle, which is much needed and very easy install. An even easier install, and I feel like much more needed, is the center console safe. We're all done with that. Quick and easy, uh, four bolts, it's in there. Combination code, like I said, there's also a key available if you forget your code. Um, but it is absolutely worth every penny. Uh, but now we will move on. The next up, we were going to do the Tundra letters for the, the tailgate. Uh, and uh, we'll see what that looks like with the rest of the truck. Everything else emblem-wise on the truck is blacked out, so why not add this as well? Uh, hopefully this is nice and easy. So here we go. Now, last but not least, we're going to be putting in the Husky liners, but I got to give Toyota credit. Uh, the Tundra TRD Pro mats are a lot better than what I had in my 2016. My 2016 actually came with uh, cloth ones, so these are a lot better. They do well, but the great part about the Husky liners is they go up along the lip here, so you don't get anything trapped under it, and they go a little further in the back as well, so it'll be a little bit more coverage, so you won't have stuff that ends up getting behind anything and under but uh, they're worth every penny. Like I said, I've had them in a few other trucks, but Toyota did do pretty well with these, but we're going Husky. All right, so here's the comparison here. Here's the stock TRD Pro liner. Decent coverage for sure. But then you come over to the Husky and you could just see how much more coverage there really is. Back behind the pedals, all the way around the side of the footwell, and all the way up the door molding there. Not bad at all, right? Try to give you a good shot of both. All right, there you go, driver's side, Husky X-Act Contour. Look at the way that that goes a little bit further up than the stocks, around the side, around the tray, and sticks good here. I've had other floor liners where this sticks up a lot and stuff still gets under it, but this form fits pretty good to the side. Worth every penny. All right, so here is the backseat liner that comes with the TRD Pro. Pretty cool, like the graphics. Before we put in the Husky, I just wanted to let you know they offer two different kinds of Husky liners back here. Now, the one I got is very similar to this one. Um, it does stop at this ridge, but there is also another one that comes up for full coverage. I got the one that stops at the ridge because there may be a chance that I install another ESB under seat storage. I'm not sure yet, but I just wanted to let you know there are options out there for Crew Max and Double Cab with that. So that concludes our installs of the day. Uh, we did the driver's side grab handle, we did the console safe, we did the lettering on the tailgate, and we also put in the Husky liner. So that is a really good start for this truck. Like I said, I'm not gonna go too crazy with modifications with it, but the handle was definitely needed. The center console safe is a must have in today's day and age, in my opinion. The black lettering on the outside just kind of ties the truck together, and you can't go wrong with Husky liners. Uh, some people ask, why don't you try a different liner? I've tried other liners in my life and I don't ever want to leave Husky because they are the very, very best of anything I've ever tried. And the great part about it is you are the ones who suggested it to me because I used to use another brand. And you told me, give Husky a try, and I did. And I'm happy and I'm never leaving because they've been fantastic. Just great footwell coverage all the way around. Um, and they are a rubber that forms well to the sides of the footwell versus some of the other ones I had that kind of after a while uh, it was they weren't plastic, but they were more of that kind of a hard rubber Maybe a little bit of plastic in it where the edges would start to come up and then you would get everything underneath the uh, Liner itself and then what's the point of having a liner? So I'm sticking with Husky, but that is where we're uh, starting now Four quick easy ones uh, throughout the video. I put up pictures 
of the item numbers and the prices. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you could easily contact me below the video or tundradude34 at gmail.com. Also, I'm on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram at tundradude34. Always happy to help. Now, the driver's side grab handle, um, the console safe, and the lettering for the tailgate is all from sparksparts.com. They have all the Toyota and TRD parts you would ever want for your truck. They have everything, um, whether it be OEM or aftermarket. They even have some stuff uh, that isn't Toyota or TRD, like the Magnuson Supercharger. Uh, they have things like that, different exhaust systems. So check them out. Use the promo code TUNDRADUDE34 to save 5%. And the Husky Liners are from huskyliners.com. So check them out. A very, very quick delivery system with them. Every time I order something, it comes almost right away. And a great team to deal with. Uh, they're very happy to help you with anything you may need before you spend that kind of money. But like I said, if you need anything, comment below the video. I'll talk to you soon. Hope you enjoyed. Be safe out there.